Well, there you hear the corner of Jazzy Jeff Mayweather. That's Eddie Mustafa Muhammad and Alex Reed saying, let's go to school now. He says, I'm going to school you, young boy. We're going to show you what it's like to fight professionally. Only the fourth fight for Oscar De La Hoya professionally. Of course, he fought 330 times as an amateur, and he's only 20 years old, but he's only been in the ring professionally four fights, and we head for an eight-rounder here. Sit back and enjoy Jazzy Jeff Mayweather in the black and white trunks, and it is Oscar De La Hoya in the white trunks, trimmed with gold. And already De La Hoya scores a right, and another right to the head of Mayweather here to start round one. Lightweights weighing 135 pounds in yesterday's weigh-in, and they're in for a battle royale tonight. Glad you can be with us here on a worldwide pay-per-view. I'm Kevin McKay, bringing the exciting action. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you may be. We've seen great fighting all night tonight, and this proves to be even more exciting. De La Hoya establishing himself here in the first round with a left to the face of Jazzy Jeff Mayweather. Mayweather's brother, Roger Mayweather, the two-time world champion. Mayweather coming off a, a loss, a big-time loss. Jorge Romero, as well as Todd Foster. He lost to Todd Foster in Montana back in August and December. He struggled again, losing a 10-round decision to Jorge Romero. But here he is, and he is back. Jeff Mayweather, he has nothing to prove other than to get himself back on track with a win over De La Hoya. And you see De La Hoya appears focused on the, on the operative here in round one. He continues to score at will in round one, setting up the jab. Both right-handed fighters. De La Hoya's wins have come over Lamar Williams. Cliff Hicks, both in the first round. Paris Alexander in the second round. And last month, he beat Curtis Strong. In the fourth round, it's San Diego, California. Of course, his well-fabled story, his mother, died of breast cancer when she was 37 years old. He vowed to win the gold medal at the Summer Olympic Games in Barcelona for his mother, and indeed he did. And a very touching story, De La Hoya paid a visit to her grave afterwards, putting the gold medal on her grave. Now well, he's turned in a gold medal performance here in the first round. Final minute of round one. Referee is Mitch Halpern. And Mayweather really hasn't been a whole lot. He moves a lot, but he has been hit a lot here in the first round. Dale La Hoya backing up constantly, keeping Mayweather off balance. Interesting to see how well conditioned Dale La Hoya is. Trains in East Los Angeles. Signed with Bob Arum in top rank. And he appears on his way to a bright future as he backs Mayweather into the rope. Mayweather dodges and moves in the corner. And Mustafa, Eddie Mustafa Mohammed says, that's what we want. And he walks into a left hand by De La Hoya. And as the bell sounds for round one, De La Hoya appears to have won round one. Work in the corner, Robert Alcaraz, Chuck Bodak, Jose Pajar, and the cut man is Beto Martinez. Let's listen in if we can to the corners. Keep an ear, hold his trunks down. Joe, hold his trunks down. His hands are speed up. Relax. Corta me más el rey, ¿ok? Corta me más el rey para la derecha, ¿ok? Y trabaja mele más poquito. Aquí, sí. Lo estás haciendo bien. Corta mele más el rey para el lado derecho. ¿Ok? Taking a look back at some of the action. In round one, it was all De La Hoya as he scored with the left, twice backing it up, Mayweather. Mayweather, five, seven and a half, and the height advantage goes to De La Hoya at 5'11", as Eddie Mustafa Muhammad says, let's get busy here in round two from the Las Vegas Hilton Convention Center. Boy, I hope you're enjoying tonight's fights. I sure am, and I hope you're excited about what's to come tonight. Taking a look at round one. Now they've got De La Hoya. Really didn't score on many of his punches, although we scored him here on the worldwide tour 
as winning round one. Interesting as the compu box disagrees with us for once. Mayweather goes to the body, so perhaps that's what's working for him. Round two, this one's scheduled for eight rounds of boxing action here. De La Hoya in white, and Mayweather in the black trunks. Jazzy Jeff Mayweather, 28 years old. And I stand corrected, he is coming off a win. He decisioned Jorge Romero, that after losing to Todd Foster back in August of last year. He has fought some great fights over the years. In the lightweight division, beating Juan Alvarado. Ramon Zavala. And now, a big left hand to the head of Mayweather by De La Hoya. And he backs him up. And again, Mayweather continues to back up as De La Hoya scores at will. Oscar De La Hoya, the gold medal winner for the United States in the Summer Games in Barcelona. And he scores again, and he appears to have Mayweather hurt here in round two. Mayweather covering up. And again, De La Hoya scores with the right. And sets him up with a left hand as he walks into it. Jeff Mayweather taking a lot of punches here early. Moved early in round one, and now he seems to have slowed down, and that's giving De La Hoya the chance to score with the right there. De La Hoya. and sets him up again and just misses and can't seem to land as Mayweather dodges and weaves away. And then a right to the head as he backs Mayweather up. A right to the head and Mayweather can't seem to get his hands up. A little swelling over the left, under the left eye of Roger Mayweather here in round number two. Blood splattering over De La Hoya and appears to come from the, the left eye of Roger Mayweather and like a shark in feeding. There goes De La Hoya going right for the eye. Mayweather taking a lot of punches as De La Hoya sets him up here in round two. De La Hoya showing his speed and versatility here as he moves in final seconds of round two. Boy, I hope you're enjoying this one. Blood, blood now coming from the right, the left cheek of Jeff Mayweather as we come to the end of round two. We're at the Las Vegas Hilton Convention Center and we've got a great one going on here. Jazzy Listen, Jeff Mayweather, let's listen yeah. in. Listen, Jeff, you're waiting too long. You're waiting too long. Let's go to work, Jeff. Let's go to work. Give me the water. This ain't gonna, this ain't gonna work, man. <laughs> Jeff, you're waiting too long. Okay. Let's start double, tripping up that jab, man. He's about dead tired now. Here you go, man. Let's go to work with the jab, please. Jeff, talk to me, baby. Let's spit it out anywhere, man. Listen. Let's go to work with the motherfucking jab, man. Come on, baby. This guy ain't nothing. Here I go, here I go. Now, uh, there you hear the Jeff, this man ain't nothing, man. words of Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, Beto Martinez, the cut man from Tucson, Arizona. He stepped in and patched up the left cheek of Jeff Mayweather. Oscar De La Hoya seemed to control round two there. And again, we'll take a look at the copy box scores. It appears that, that Mayweather may have won round one on the copy box, but De La Hoya has taken control here as we head for round three. Oscar De La Hoya and Jeff Mayweather. The corner work, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad for Jeff Mayweather saying, this guy is nothing. Well, De La Hoya scored it well there in round two. Perhaps that inspired Mayweather. As you see there, 48% of the punches landing by De La Hoya, so. He has come back strong here to perhaps take the advantage, and he scores a left to the chin of Jeff Mayweather. Boy, he continues to back him up here in round number three. Mayweather hits him with an open, open glove and really nothing doing there, and again, a strong left to the head of Jeff Mayweather. De La Hoya scoring it well in round three as he moves in. Bob Middleman and Steve Nelson have done a great job managing De La Hoya along with Bob Arum of top rank. A lot of people question whether they had put them in, put him in the ring with, at, with a too tough of an opponent too early in his career. And this is proving all those people wrong. De La Hoya appears poised and ready for anything as he backs up Mayweather. He dances across the ring here in round number three. Kevin McCain bringing you the blow-by-blow -blow action here worldwide. Pay-per-view brought to you by Forum Incorporated Boxing and 
top rank in the Las Vegas Hilton Convention Center. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've already seen a couple of knockouts here. Jorge Paez knocking out Felix Ramon Felix. And just moments ago in the heavyweights, Jorge Gonzalez knocking out Big Mike White. This is round three, and oh, Gonzalez, excuse me, De La Hoya back Mayweather into the corner. And now it appears he's got him hurt. He's got Mayweather rocked against the ropes, and Mayweather holds on to try to catch his breath. Jeff Mayweather works his way out of the corner. The left eye appears to be a little bit swollen. Jazzy Jeff backing up here. De La Hoya working his way in. Oscar De La Hoya, East Los Angeles, 4-0, four, oh, four by knockout. Many thought he would have his hands full tonight. He appears to be in control as, as Jeff Mayweather dances around the ring to a chorus of booze from the fans here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. A big left again by De La Hoya, trying to set up the jab and then score with the, the big right. Big up undercut, and the fans start to champ Oscar. Final 20 seconds of round three. An exciting lightweight battle here. De La Hoya looks really unfazed. I mean, he really looks like he did when he stepped into the ring. Be interesting to see if Mayweather could keep him around long enough as we come to the end of round number three. Mayweather unleashes a barrage of punches. And we'll listen in once again to his corner. Keep it going like that, I want some more jams. Okay, thank you, Tom. I'm here with the champ, Michael Carbajal. Michael, uh, this has got to be the biggest fight of your career. This is a unification of the light flyweight title. How are you going to fight this fight? And is it any different than any uh, other title fights that you had? I don't think it's any different. I'm just taking him as another another fighter, and um, except it's a big fight because of the unification. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna go in there and relax and keep cool and just outbox the shit out of him. Okay, really quick, <laughs> is uh, is there a lot of pressure on you for the, uh, on this fight? Not at all. You know, I'm real calm and uh, I'm very relaxed. I feel good. I feel strong, and I'm just ready to go put it on him. Good luck to you. Back to Tom Kelly. All right, Ruben Castillo working the locker rooms for us here worldwide, hearing the very confident comments from Michael Carvajal. That's still to come. Right now, we've got Oscar De La Hoya and Jazzy Jeff Mayweather round four of this lightweight battle going on here. And De La Hoya appears ahead on all scoring cards as, again, he backs up Mayweather here. Still to come, our main event, Michael Carvajal, the IBF junior flyweight champ, taking on... Humberto Chiquita Gonzalez, the WBC junior flyweight champ, unifying those two belts here at the Las Vegas Hilton Convention Center tonight. Boy, it's been a great night of fights here. The fans, 7,000 plus, enjoying the fights at the Las Vegas Hilton. Those of you around the world getting it up close, thanks to pay-per-view and TVKO. De La Hoya catches Mayweather on the chin and again rocks him back into the ropes. And now he sits him down with a big left hand to the chin of Jeff Mayweather. Oscar De La Hoya rubbed him and sent him to the canvas with a left hand. And he looks really dazed. All right. The referee Mitch Halpern says, let's get busy. Still plenty of time here in round four. De La Hoya has sent him to the canvas, and we'll see if Mayweather has anything left. Like a shark in Cressy, here comes De La Hoya. De La Hoya trying to work his way in, trying for the kill here. He hasn't had to go longer than four rounds. And now he lets another big right to the head of Mayweather. And he's got a block now. Into the ropes, he unleashes the barrage of punches. Mayweather is hurt, and Mitch Halpern says enough. Mitch Halpern has said enough. Oscar De La Hoya is going to be fired though. Oh! 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 Oh, oh baby! So for all those doubters, all those doubters who said, Oscar De La Hoya was dividing off more than he could chew here with Jeff Mayweather. They have proved them wrong tonight. Oscar De La Hoya, his crew of Steve Nelson, Bob Middleman, now 5-0 and oh with five more knockouts. And another step toward not only winning a gold medal, but a world championship. Team De La Hoya, another look 
back, and you'll see he really caught him on the chin there with a left. A chin rocked him back, and then the big right to the head continues to send Mayweather back. There's the left to the chin that sends him to the canvas. Mayweather got up, and he appeared to be hurt. The right, and there's the left to the chin. And Jazzy Jeff is down. He was stunned. He got the standing eight count. And oh my, De La Hoya really rocked him again. Another left to the chin. Mayweather's down. He really couldn't answer. Pushed back in the rope, and Mitch Halpern said, enough is enough. This fight was over. There's the big left to the head. And I think that's what indicated to Mitch Halpern that Mayweather really didn't have anything left to throw at that point. So it appears that Oscar De La Hoya is on his way to a gold medal. Let's go now to the ring and Al Bernstein to get some comments along with ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, one minute, 35 seconds. In round number four, the referee in charge, Mitch Halpern, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, he is still undefeated with a perfect record of 5-0 and oh with five knockouts. The golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya.